Hello, this is Aaron from Guitar Problem. Please like and subscribe. I cry myself to sleep. All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Hurt by Nine Inch Nails on bass guitar in 10 different styles. Also note, there are tablature examples down in the description. So here we go. Number one, finger style. Just regular old playing the notes with your fingers. And how you do that, fifth fret on the E string, seventh fret on the E string, third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A string. Number two, octaves. So, same root notes, only I'm going to add an additional note, an octave higher on the D or G string, depending on the chord. So, Same hand positions and patterns as we just did, only instead of playing the notes individually, I'm going to play the notes at the same time doing an octave chord. And there's two ways I could I'll be demonstrating it today. Pluck in both strings with two fingers. Or strumming the chords. It's important to remember you need to deaden the other strings that you're not playing or it's not going to sound good. Alright, number four. Double thumb and fingers at the same time, still using the same octave pattern. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my thumb up and down like, it's a, like I'm playing with a pick on the low notes. And then I'm going to play the high notes with my right hand index finger. And it's going to sound like this. Again, the same octave pattern, only I'm going to be slapping the low notes with my thumb, popping the high notes with my index finger. So. isolate them and play the individual notes. So for example, five and seven, seven and nine, three and five, five and uh, seven on the A and D string. Seven, 
finger tapped power cords. Don't freak out, it's easy. I'll break it down for you. So now we're gonna be doing a three string power cord like we just did five and seven. But now it's gonna be five, seven, seven. But I'm not doing it all with my left hand. I'm gonna play the low note with my left hand and the high notes with these two fingers on my right hand like this. everything one octave up and we're going to play on the D and G string. So the new chords we'll be using on those strings are going to be 7 and 9, 9 and 11, 5 and 7, 12 and 14. higher with your right hand. So Number 10, the pretty chord. I call it that because it sounds pretty and I don't know the scientific name for it. So basically, if you take a big bar chord, power chord, like 5th fret, 7th fret, 7th fret, 6th fret, that would be like a bar chord, power chord you would play on guitar. And we're just going to cut out the middle two notes and deaden those strings and we're gonna play the first and fourth note. So, fifth fret on the E string, sixth fret on the G string. And we're gonna play them at the same time. It's gonna make that pretty sound. That's why I call it the pretty chord. Then seventh fret and eighth fret, three and four, 10 and 11. 